guys, my name is Melody Campos and I'm here to tell you about my experience getting my M1 and M2 riding license here in Toronto, Ontario in Canada. Um, so this topic makes me really, really happy because I have loved like owning a bike and riding here in Toronto. Um, so the bike that I currently own is a 2019 Yamaha R3. Um, I'm in love with it. Uh, it, uh, it is in black and with my riding gear all in black and uh, so my helmet, everything, like I, if you're similar to in like what you're looking for in terms of like a really sleek design like this, um, you can only imagine how happy I am when I am riding around like Toronto in it. Um, I just feel good and feel very proud of my amazing purchase. <laughs> um, so without further ado, um, I'm happy to share with you my experience of how I got my M1 and M2 because if you are in a similar situation where um, you may not know like any of your friends that ride um, or you know if you don't have a bike yet and you're just in that research um, process, like uh, I was in a very similar situation last year. So um, my intention is to help you and uh, you know, if I can make a difference in someone's life and help them pursue what they're passionate about, um, definitely makes me very happy. So, yeah, so uh, let me tell you about how I got my M1 and M2. So, um, so the M1 is a written test. Um, and the way that you get your M1 here in Toronto, Ontario, um, in Ontario in general, um, is that uh, you have to study for the written exam um, and there's two things I can recommend on how to study is number one is to get the motorcycle handbook um, and you can get this at any bookstore I believe you can get it off of Amazon as well um, and then you can also get it sometimes at like random convenience stores oddly enough <laughs> Um, and then the second thing I recommend uh, to study for your M1 is to actually do the practice quizzes online. Um, so they have a couple and uh, the beauty of that is that a lot of what they have online is actually also in um, like on the test itself. So <laughs> I remember the day of I did those practice quizzes just to kind of like refresh my memory. Um, so it helps a lot. So just keep those in mind uh, and you'll be good to go. Um, so once you have done your research uh, and you're ready to write your M1, um, so here in Toronto where I actually wrote it was at the Service Ontario at College Park. Um, so that's located at Young Ann College. Um, and so when you do, um, do your M1, you don't have to book an appointment in advance. You just simply go to the Service Ontario um, the hours that they're open, which is usually 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. Um, and then uh, you get the test and you pass, of course. Um, and when they do tell you that you pass, you get uh, your M1. Um, you know, right on the spot, which is amazing. <laughs> of course, if you have sort of had the experience, you know that you get the temporary one before you actually get the card in the mail, but you are good to ride on the day that you pass. So it's super exciting. Um, and uh, so once you have your M1, the most important thing to note is that you have a 60 day window to get your M2. Now, in order to get your M2, you have two ways to do that. The first way is you can actually book an appointment with Service Ontario um, and then they will do the M2 test with you. So it's the writing portion um, or in the second way is to actually do a writing school or a writing course. Um, now again, if you're in a similar situation to where I was at last year um, and you may not have um, a bike uh, or maybe you didn't really know a lot of people that rode as well. Um, I decided to do a writing school and a writing course. Um, and also the benefit to doing a writing course is that you get a discount on your insurance because you have, you know, because you've taken like those um, extra, um, you have that extra knowledge and extra safety course that you've done. Um, so it is very beneficial. And then also, again, if you were like me and it was your first time being on a bike, that step-by-step -step I think is so important um, to know how to ride. 
And um, again, this is how you get your M2. So, <laughs> so again, just kind of reiterating, um, you do the written test, which is your M1, and then you have 60 days to get your M2. What I would recommend if it's your first time is, you know, to book a, a writing course right away. Um, like same day you get your M2, call them and say, hey, do you have space available for that weekend, you know, or the next weekend? Um, and the course is done over three days. Uh, at least when I did it, it was a Friday night and then it was a Saturday and a Sunday. So it's done very, very quickly. Um, and then <laughs> after I did the course, um, I definitely made sure to have in my calendar when that 60 day hit, because that's when I went right back into a service Ontario. Um, again, you don't have to make an appointment. Um, and that's when I was actually able to upgrade to my M2. So uh, it was very, very exciting. <laughs> and I hope that makes sense as well. Um, but if you have any questions, definitely let me know um, in the comments below and I'd be happy to, to answer them because this is again the topic that I'm so passionate about. Um, and one of the reasons actually is because I watched an interview recently with um, Keanu Reeves and uh, it's amazing because he actually talks about how he used to ride here in uh, Yorkville, um, <laughs> which is an area I'm very familiar with. Uh, I love Yorkville and um, and he talks about like his passion of riding um, and he even shows like his bike collection which is drooling like it's just this guy is so cool so like along with like being in John Wick this guy's just amazing and has this whole like bike life so it makes me love him even more he is truly like my man crush Monday uh, anyways <laughs> so um, yep, so that is overall my experience on how my experience on how I got my M1 and M2 here in Toronto. Um, so again, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help you because I know what it's like um, to do all this research on your own and also do that research on YouTube, which I think is awesome. And one of the reasons why I decided to make this video is just to reach out and help anyone that you know, again, looking to pursue their passion because I think it's it's great when you put yourself outside your comfort zone for something that you know is so worth it and something that you're going to love to do for the rest of your life. So, um, oh, one recommendation I can make is um, I used to watch a lot of videos from somebody here on YouTube and um, his name is Dan Dan the Fireman. <laughs> so just a little shout out to him and um, I can even say that uh, I actually reached out to him on Instagram because I told him that I was considering making a video to like help people who are in that same sort of steps of first time owning a bike. Um, and he replied in like seconds, like he was super sweet and uh, he's very supportive. So um, I just wanted to give him that shout out because he was one of the first people I started watching on YouTube on how to learn how to uh, ride a bike. Um, and everything else that he provides like he so much information uh, so yeah and so if you did enjoy this video um, again thank you so much for watching this um, and uh, please hit that like button because I'd love to see that support um, and I also also love to make some more videos because I'd love to show you guys like the gear that I presently have um, and also my experience riding in Toronto um, it's definitely pretty crazy because <laughs> you know you love something when you can do it in like one of the busiest cities in the world um, because of how like how much traffic there is, how much congestion, how just that hustle here in Toronto. Um, but yeah, I'd be happy to make more videos um, if anyone has any questions about my experience here um, or anything else in general with riding. Um, so please do hit that subscribe button as well because there will be more videos to come. <laughs> so again, thank you so much guys and um, I hope this helped and I hope you are well, like a lot closer to obtaining your goals of getting your first bike. <laughs> Thanks guys. Bye!